Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at changes in Photoshop CC 2021 in relation to live shapes and converting them into regular shapes. In particular, we're going to look at the rectangle. Now this all arose as the result of a viewer to my channel who questioned one of my recent videos on how to create varying triangles in Photoshop and the problem that they were encountering was being able to create a right angle triangle. So that's a triangle that has a right angle in one of its corners and in the past the way that I had done that was to create a rectangle of some sort, a rectangle or a square using the rectangle shape tool. So you see up here I've got shape and I've just filled it with a color just makes it a little bit easier to see what's going on. And so in the past, the way that I turned this into a triangle was to use one of these corners. So I went up here and selected the delete anchor point tool and then clicked on an anchor point here to delete it. Clicking yes when I see that this is a promise to turn a live shape into a regular path. This is what we get and you need to click this twice. Don't know why they're telling you to do it twice, but that's just the way it works. But instead of getting a right angle triangle, what we're getting is this sort of weird shape. Now this is new in Photoshop CC 2021. In earlier versions, it didn't work that way. Let's just quickly swing across to an older version of Photoshop and see what is happening. So back here in an older version of Photoshop, exactly the same tool, filled shape, color, dragging out my rectangle, then locating the tool, the delete anchor point tool, clicking on the corner, the dialog comes up, click yes, looks a bit weird, click it again, click yes, and there we have our right angle triangle. So that's how it used to work. And of course now in Photoshop CC 2021, it's not working in the same way. So swinging back to the triangle that doesn't look very much like a triangle, let's see how we could solve this problem. Now if you get to this point, the most obvious solution is to come over here to the convert anchor point tool convert point tool. What that does is it takes a curved point and turns it into a pointy point. In other words, it brings this handle back all the way into here so it becomes a pointy end. So I'm just going to click once, that's what we get up here. Click again down here and now we get our right angle triangle. It's got a line all the way around it, it's just perfect. It's exactly what we would have got in older versions of Photoshop. It's just taken us longer to get there. Now, let me just delete this because there is another solution. It just needs a little bit of explaining. So what you can do is having dragged out your rectangle of some sort, if you want to convert this to a regular path without these corners, there is no tool to do it in Photoshop. So you have to do it some other way. So what you're going to do is you're going to drag out another shape in the middle of this and join them together. But before you do that, you've got to be in the right mode. So you're going to come up here and you're going to choose combine shapes because you want your new shape to go right in on top of the old one on the exact same layer otherwise it doesn't work. So now we're going to go and just get a triangle tool, something like that, drag a triangle on top. So in our layer we've got one layer with two paths on it and if we go to the paths palette you'll see that we've got this path on the outside and the triangle on the inside. So we're going to the path selection tool, this black arrow tool, we're going to select over both paths. We're going to come back up here and we're going to merge the shape components. In other words, make a single shape out of these two overlapping shapes. We just made sure that the triangle was fully inside the rectangle so that when we merged it, we just got our rectangle and you see no bent corners. And so now the delete anchor point tool is going to work as expected. So just a heads up, the behavior of live shapes in the most recent versions of Photoshop is different. It's really difficult to convert a live shape into a regular shape unless you know how. But probably the easiest method, provided you've sort of got your wits about you and you've done this a couple of times so that you're familiar with it, is to go and draw your shape draw the second shape in the middle of it, but making sure first of all that you have combined shapes selected so that your shapes are going to be combined into a single shape. So here we have it here, go into the paths panel, go and select over both your paths so everything is selected and go and merge the shape components and then you get a regular shape. 
I seem to spend a lot of time at the moment telling you about what's different in Photoshop CC 2021. There's a whole heap of stuff that's different. Don't know why, but a lot of things are not working as we would expect them to. So there are some workarounds for you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you've learned things about Photoshop of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.